Hello, welcome to Mathis Digital. My name is Aaron, and today I'm going to show you how to do continuous integration and deployment in T24 TFJ environment. I have a fully automated deployment and integration between my TFJ development server, GitHub, and email through Jenkins. So I'm using Jenkins. I've already configured my server. So this is my Jenkins controller. It's accessible through Jenkins.mathis.io. As you can see, I have three projects. There's a Forex, which is a pure Java project. There's a DST24 Dev, which is a public repository. But I'm going to show you the demo on this TFJ project. So if you look at this project, there are a lot of builds. So some of these have been successful, others have been failing, and uh, it's the purpose for learning. I purposely did this, the failure, the last one, so we can see how to bring it back to green. Because it's a job of developer, whenever it fails, so Jenkins will show you which stage failed and the reason why it failed. So if you look at uh, this last build, which is 44, the initial stage was successful, build stage successful, test successful, but the deployment failed due to error in a batch file. So the deployment is run on a Windows server are using Windows batch script for the deployment and this failed for a reason which we are going to see. Now for the green ones we see that everything is green and you can also see how long each stage have taken. So the stage which takes um, much of time is um, the build, if you look at this is 10 seconds, the rest are 4 seconds, uh, others are milliseconds. There's no much changes which is happening. Now, this information is reflected in both Jenkins and uh, GitHub. So, the way the flow is, everything starts from the developer console. Whenever a developer does a commit, this commit will go to GitHub. GitHub will automatically inform Jenkins server, and Jenkins will start at a build. So it does initialization, build, test, and deployment based on different conditions. Once it finishes, uh, the work, it will notify back GitHub. Uh, this is the reason why you see different flags. So if we go to, to this build, the last one, we see it is, it's not green. Actually it failed, it said checks failed. And we tell you that the build failed. And if you go to, if you click on uh, details, it will take you to the build which failed on Jenkins server. So from GitHub, we can automatically see the build which failed. Similarly from uh, Jenkins, you can go to GitHub as well. So everything is uh, integrated. And also we receive email notification as well. If you look at this, it's a build 44, build failure. But build 43 was successful. This is what we see in Jenkins. So build 40, 43 was successful. So if I click on this email, I will see the last uh, changes which happened. And um, I can go to, the, to that build automatically. So you can do this. And from here I can go to GitHub as well, automatically. So everything is interlinked and everything is connected to each other. Since we have the last job 
failed. Our job is to bring it back to normal. So let me show you how everything is done. From my console, I've done some changes on these uh, routines. So I'm using Visual Studio Code. And in Visual Studio Code, we, we tell you which uh, branch you are in. So I'm in this branch called uh, MT220002. So this is the branch. And um, I can do git status. You can see I made changes on uh, the script, Groovy script, and also on um, my routine. So this routine, I made changes on this routine, and also changes on uh, test. So these are the changes I have for now. So basically what I want to achieve, uh, this routine is a very simple routine. It accepts a parameter called the name and it returns a message. So a message is going to be hello, name, and exclamation point. And this test program, which I changed, which is located here, we call this routine, and it returns a message, and then we print the message. So I want this to be also run as a part of my test. I should see this message, a call to this routine after being compiled and also run like this. Uh, similarly, we don't have any build for now. And uh, let's click like this. So there's no build going on now. So everything should be triggered automatically. And if you look at the last email I have was um, at 2.30. So, and it's a build 44. Now, I'm going to commit these changes. First, I need to add these changes. Hit add. Now, let me do. So, everything will be tracked here, as you can see. I can do git commit. I want to put uh, this, a message. MT two zero 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 two and added call to MTD at greeting in test probe. Okay. Commit is done. Now I'm going to push. I need to put my key, password. All right, let's go quickly and see. The bit should get triggered automatically here. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, okay. See here. It's 45. We can see console. So the bit is going on. So it is doing. So it's compiled. The component was compiled. This the greeting was compiled. But we have an error. So component I made a mistake in uh, my local dev let's see in the component oh sorry the name is not correct so So this is the name of the component. But this is very good because you can see D24 detected an error in our component. So component was not properly built. And if you look at this build field as well, 
So we have again another bill which failed and if you look at the email we see that um, it failed during the compilation. So these are the logs and then we got notification that this is failed. Okay. Now this is fixed. I fixed this uh, component. Now let me push again. Let's see. So git add. Git commit. I'm going to say fixed bug in uh, local dev component. Now let's commit. Let's push the changes. Put my password. All right, let's go. Let's see. Build 46 should start automatically. Okay, as we can see it started. It's initializing. Okay, we can now look at uh, how it's being built. Okay, it's going on. It compiles. The routine now is compiled successfully. So now it's doing the job very well. It's running. You can see hello Aaron. So it worked. The routine worked. And congratulations. Successful now. Now we should be able to see green now. If you look at uh, this. We look at the last one, which is a minute ago now. Now it is green. And if we click, all right, you can see we have also on our Jenkins, it is the same just now. If you look at the time, everything looks okay, good. So I've just shown you how everything is totally integrated. I just pushed from my computer and this commit triggered uh, after committing github was automatically updated and it advised my Jenkins server to build and the build was started automatically without any human interventions and everything was sent to T24 to do compilation. So if you look at the routine, we were compiled successfully, all the changes, but only the changes. And after compilation, even the deployment was done. So the local dev jar was uh, copied to the deployment folder. And we got also an email. So and everything is tracked. So this is the email. If I read it, everything now built successful. And this is the last edit. So the last file which I edited was this one, fixed. It. And the message also is there. The bug, so fixed the bug in local dev component, which is the message I typed here. This is the message. Thank you. So you can always get in touch with me to, to have more information on how to do uh, this kind of setup. If you want to implement the same in your organization. And if uh, I show you my T24, this is my T24 development server, uh, we can even run uh, the program the program is called, um, <clears throat> let me check, the program which was run, 
but you can see in the logs um, of this last build let's see it was run during the testing phase when it started testing yes we see we have a uh, hello prog but we also have test test prog so we can run test prog on t24 this is the test server so t run test prog so you can see it's the same today is 22nd of January 2022 hello Aaron fantastic and the deployment folder which I was talking about where it is copied if you look at uh, the deployment uh, this just deployed so this is the file which you got to deployed it's a jar uh, called eb local dev at 327 if you look, if you open it, we see our MTD greeting. Good, everything was automatically done. Thank you. See you next. Bye bye.